What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Iron King Inc. YouTube channel. If you're just joining in, my name is Quentin and I'm the owner here. Today, we're working on the largest grader ever made, the Caterpillar 24M. And what we're gonna be doing is those are the brakes right there. It takes four of them, and we're putting new brakes on this machine. So here's a closer look at the brakes on this thing. So what, right here is your brake pack, and then here's what basically drives it. So you have big chains inside those tandems, and they drive on these, which moves the spindle down there which turns your tires and this is just a preventative maintenance on these brakes uh, the old ones didn't fail we just had these rebuilt so that when it goes out to a new customer we have no issues with kind of big safety items like this he's over here cleaning out the tandems right now what we're gonna do we're gonna get that service truck it's got a 10,000 pound crane on it we're gonna pick these brakes up one by one and then swing them in here. So right now he's working on getting this tandem completely cleaned out. That way when we stick them in there, it's no dirt entry, no nothing like that, and we'll get long service life out of them. getting all these surfaces prepped now. Your O-ring goes right here, but he's gonna go ahead and get all the debris off these. That way when we get the new brakes on, we have a perfect seal. Okay, well, we're gonna keep prepping on this right here. And what we're actually gonna do, when we get this brake leveled, and on the crane of the service truck and ready to put on, we're gonna Teflon all of the bolts from here down because this is submerged in oil. And if you see behind me, it's a through bolt. So what'll happen is if we don't Teflon from here down, they'll all start leaking. So right now he's gonna go and pick one of these brakes up. We're gonna see how it feels first. We're gonna rig it up and make sure it's perfectly level. So what happens is when we pick that brake, it needs to be perfectly level as if the tire was right here and the brake was like this. If it's tilted a little bit, it's not gonna line up with these holes. This is how we got it rigged. We got a strap around here. Come along here to level it out. Unfortunately, there's no picking eyes right here, so you have to lift it like this. This is the only way without the tool from Cat, which is like $20,000. So right now he's adjusting to come along down to as he lifts up with the crane to make sure this thing's level when he picks it up. first try yeah I like it too perfectly right in the center
takes some serious skill to run that crane while you're swinging this kind of stuff. these brakes weigh? Uh, 2050, okay. Yeah, they're a little deceiving right here, but yeah, we're dealing with about 2,000 pounds here. So you gotta be super careful staying away from it just in case it slides off or something, but we should be just fine. cleaning the o-ring face right here so right here a big o-ring goes on this side and this little groove right here is what it sits in which is what seals it right here and then we got a teflon like i mentioned before from here down he's gonna show me a trick here <laughs> Lube the whole o-ring. Okay. Not only will it slide when needed, it'll stick. Yep, when needed. cold out if you haven't noticed it's snowing i don't like it when it's cold i'd rather take it when it's 110 degrees outside throw that down in the comments you'd rather work when it's hot or cold out We got these positioners in here. We're lining the bolt holes up.
we're gonna go get our impacts, torque wrenches, get this thing all tightened up on the side of the tandem here. Alright, so this, it's like a chalk Teflon, and we're going to basically coat the bolts in it, get the threads. This is going to make it to where when we go to stick it on the machine, it's not going to leak. Just like that, we'll put it in here, and that's going to seal it from that point down. We're gonna run all these down with an electric impact, and then we're gonna go and bust out the three quarter torque wrench, and we're gonna torque these to 600 plus or minus 50 pounds. We're gonna leave all this rigged up the way we got it. That way, for the next break, it'll be a lot easier to set up. Set to the danger zone, 600. That's as, all, that's as much as it'll go. Start here. Lead in my ass to get Hold this there done. for a moment. Good thing about being fatter in the winter too is you don't get as cold. I'm always freezing. Ah, perfect. Smart man over here. He's gonna mark the bolts that we've torqued. That way we know so we don't go again or go. Forget what we've already done, and then end up going over them again. Problem is, it's frozen. frozen. <laughs> yep. Well, it's oh, it's trying. Kind of. All right, we started right here. All right, that's where we know we started. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, right there. All right, next side. Come on, there you go. Yep. One more time. Point. Perfect. I'm helping with my mind. I'm helping. Woo. A little more. Yeah, 
check this out glad we caught that starting to take off the threads on that bolt and stretch it out let's get a new bolt First, just to make sure we still got 600 foot pounds on it. Perfect. We're good to go. This one's torqued and on. Sweet. Well, we got number two on. We're basically just gonna do the same exact process. And we got two more on the other side. All right, we went and we got both final drives, or sorry, brake groups. These finals are in here. We got both brakes torqued on ready to go now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get the chains that are inside the shop and start laying them in the tandems but first we got to get these covers off yeah, we'll need those. Yeah, I need the... so here's what the drive chains look like we're gonna pick these up with the crane and then we're gonna lay them inside of the tandem on those big gears that I showed you guys earlier and they kind of just slip their way through this hole. We're gonna do, we're gonna clean all this around here and just do the best we can. You know, we're not in a shop setting, so we're just doing the best of what we got. We're gonna make sure we clean all the way around this ridge. So hopefully we get all this uh, dirt out of here. What we're gonna do is you can see that sprocket right there. We're gonna wrap it around that final drive and those other sprockets and it should all wrap just nicely. Okay, we're getting ready to hook up the hydraulics on the brakes because these are actuated by hydraulic pressure. We're just changing out our O-rings right here. We got the first one changed. We're going to change out this guy. pull it forward I'll work it back and forth there we go I don't think we can say bad words on YouTube because I think people get mad you know there's a thing called you might get more views. there's a thing called build wit you ever seen their videos Ooh. it's called build wit yeah. Aaron wit I don't know something I don't know. I don't know about that guy. He seems pretty cool. But that's what he does. He tries to like influence the younger generation of workers or whatever. Yeah. Which we need more. We're freaking out of them. Number two. This thing got bent again. Tell you, yeah, got bent or something. and easy. Give it a little love that way. There you go. That'll probably do it. Nope. A little bit more.
Okay, so what we're gonna get ready to do here is we're gonna get those chains, we're gonna set them in these tandems, but we need these to rotate. And since they're hydraulically actuated, the brakes, when they're off, are set to on, if that makes sense. So when the machine is off, the brakes are set. So what we have here is a little foot pump that's going to go into this port right here, or one of these ports. It's gonna release this brake and it's gonna allow us to roll the chains in. Uh, my bad guys, we're actually gonna take this uh, foot pump and it's gonna go on the back of this diversion block so that we can get both brakes. If we just did that one guy right there, it would only juice the one brake. So we're going right here. We're gonna hook the, hook the pump up to air and that's gonna release these brakes. Okay, the foot pump is hooked up. Now, what is it? Uh, 400 PSI? 500 PSI? Okay. All right, so press on that pump a little bit with your hand. Yep, push down. Man, the weather can change so fast out here. Now it's sunny and about 45 degrees when an hour ago it was snowing in like 20. Ended up having to crack these right here. Had an air pocket in it, so. At like the fourth? That second line, that first line past five. Okay. Stop yep. there. Okay, go up. We're gonna stop at 500. Okay, go a little bit more. They released it 250, which is fine, so that'll be good enough. All right, I ended up putting a different gauge on here because I didn't trust the other one. This is more, this is right, more where of where I want, where I expected to see. So we're almost, we're about 360 PSI right here. The brakes are released. You have to use a bar, but if they do move. Another good thing that we know now too is we're not losing pressure, so it's pressurized and staying which means that these brakes aren't leaking. So it means that whoever rebuilt and did a good job, we're good to go there. No leakage, no bypassing, because we're still holding perfect amount of pressure after about 10 minutes. Okay, we're getting these chains set in right now, and we got to put them in this specific order. That way when we go to feed them back in, they kind of just follow one after the other. That's the last. Working on getting these chains in. Yep. You got this big. It's actually an axle shaft for a Dana 50, like a Ford or something. Anyway, it's holding that strap back, and that strap's actually wrapped around the final drive, and it's going to start dragging the chain in when we lift up on it. All right, we got the chain to grab the cog in there. Now we're going to be pulling up with the service truck and it'll slowly suck it in. He's cleaning the chain because we got a little bit of dirt on it, so we're making sure we break clean it, clean it off before we stick it back in the machine. Okay, now I gotta line up. 
line the chain up with this one. Okay. We're trying to line up this final drive with that one too, because there's actually two chains in here and we got to link them together. So right now I'm on the crane and he's in there trying to line that chain up correctly. And both chains are about to be connected. We put a smaller strap in and, and looped them around, pulled up, and that sucked them together enough for us to get the master link in. All right, we're getting ready to put the master on. All we need to do now is we need to take a hammer and we're gonna hammer, it's just like a bike chain. Have you ever seen a regular BMX bike or anything with a chain? We're gonna tap that master on there with a hammer and then put two cotter pins through it. So, where's the long big bar? This one? Yes. More? Push! I don't know why you work so hard. You should be getting that air hammer and just boom. Done. Hell yeah, it will. We'll run this damn. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, nah, she'll do it. Frozen. <laughs> we tried to use it to take Spray it off. some WD in it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. yeah, we're good enough to drive the pin in. Okay. All right, so that chain's done. This is the second one going in. And we're just slowly feeding it straight down. All right, round two. I wanted to show you guys this tube. If you notice these little jack stands, all they're doing is just making this thing not oscillate. We have all this jacked up with dunnage, so it's all safe there. This is just to stop it from rocking back and forth. And this thing weighs eh, 2,000 pounds and we've got two three ton jacks underneath it so we're all good working on getting both tandems cleaned out I mean, cleaning up getting this all prepped for our second set of brakes well i got this all prepped out and i'm going to take this pick go through all these threads here and dig out all the dirt in them threads cleaned and then I blew it through with brake cleaner and I went and I cleaned the tandem again just got all the rest of the, of the debris out we'll go ahead and swing this brake over we'll get it on that side first and then we'll do this one well we needed to get some parts so I'm on my way to the local cat dealer which nothing really local around here but anyway I got to go get us a master link for to join the other chains together because the one that we had just it was okay but it wasn't good enough so 
on my way to the cat dealer and then we're gonna be back all right guys so what we're gonna do here is it's the second day but i'm gonna make this a two-parter all the brakes are on everything is torqued we're pretty much ready to go and put all the fenders on it all the guards all the railing and we're gonna make that a separate video of when we go ahead and drive this thing away anyway guys if you would enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this thing